which among the following rules about the spin spin coupling and bond multiplicities are correct with regard of two and mr spectra a coupling constants rarely exceeds 20 cps while chemical shifts are over 1000 cps b spin spin interactions are dependent on the strength of the applied field and c coupling constants increase with distance and d equivalent nuclei interact with each other to show interaction so here the right answer is coupling constants rarely exceeds the 20 cps while the chemical shifts are over 1000 cps so in comparison with the chemical shift coupling constant is very very less let us take the two examples here now if you consider the two structures here the protons are there which are not equivalent so first one is a a proton and second is a b proton which are in the different environment so these are the non-equivalent nuclei and if you consider the second structure here the hydrogens are same because they are in the same chemical as well as magnetic environment so these are called as equivalent nuclei now spin spin interaction is observed in the non-equivalent nuclei where spin spin interaction is not observed in the equivalent nuclei so the spin spin interaction is measured in the coupling constant j j is having some of the properties it is independent of the applied magnetic field strength so if you increase the magnetic field strength coupling constant will not increase proportionally it is a independent of the magnetic field strength it only depends on the spin spin interaction between the two different nuclei observed over three sigma bonds only so coupling constant cannot be observed for a longer distances it can be observed only the protons which are separated by three sigma bonds only and normally the j values are less than 20 cycles per second or h so j values are very very less compared with the chemical shift so they are fall below the 20 cycles per second if you see the question the spin spin interaction is or uh, depend on the strength of the applied magnetic field is wrong and coupling constant increase with the distance is again wrong coupling constants only work for three sigma bonds equivalent nuclei interact with each other to show the interaction that is false only the non-equivalent nuclei will show the spin spin interaction so all the b c d options are wrong and option a is the right answer that is coupling constant for less than 20 cps while the capital shifts are over 1000 cps if the pk of the lidocaine is 7.9 and ph of the infected tissue is 8.9 the fraction of the drug in the ionized form will be options are a 10 percent b 1 percent c 90 percent and d 99 percent so here the right answer is 90 percent so you can use the henderson hasselbach equation here where ph is equal to pka plus log of salt by acid for a weak acid so here ph is given 8.9 and pk is given 7.9 so if you apply in this equation 8.9 is equal to 7.9 plus log of salt by acid otherwise 1 is equal to log of salt by acid otherwise salt by acid is equal to 10 to the power of 1 that is equal to 10 so if you see the percentage ionized or fraction of the drug ionized it is 10 by 10 plus 1 in 200 that is 90.9 percent .9 or 90 percent approximately right so this is the answer for the given question alternatively you can also determine the percentage drug ionized by directly using the formula 10 to the power of ph minus pk by 1 plus 10 to the power of ph minus pk into 100 for a weak acid now here data given is ph 8.9 and pka 7.9 so applying in this equation we will get 10 to the power of 8.9 minus 7.9 by 1 plus 10, 10 to the power of 8.9 minus 7.9 into 100 so that is if you solve you will get again 90.9 percent so approximately 90 percent of the drug ionization these are the questions from the pharmaceutical analysis that were asked in the GPAT 2017. Thank you for watching this video.